example on roots and roots are damaged and the reactant causes the root and soil organic matter present in the soil get dissolved then i told that there will be poor aeration in sodic soil or alkaline soil is another another important cause of poor productivity of soil root cannot get sufficient oxygen from the soil atmosphere carbon dioxide of soil atom is very high and oxygen is low so root cannot respire and resulted in poor productivity we are observing that uh, during the corona covid 19 there will be attack on the lungs and the human being will not take the oxygen properly and sometime they will die similarly here in plant also root cannot get sufficient oxygen from soil because there will be water lock condition in a sodic soil because the particles are dispersed that is deflocculation so here deflocculation and swelling of clay due to high exchangeable sodium this cause the tillage operation very difficult so cause the poor productivity so sodic or alkaline soil are not suitable for higher crop production so how to manage the alkaline soil so gypsum application in a per 15 cm soil depth nutrient management required 25% more nitrogen so you remember that when you have the problematic soil that is a uh, alkali soil or saline or uh, sodic soil then you have to apply 25% more fertilizer suppose you are growing the rice crop then 100 kg nitrogen 50 kg phosphorus and 50 kg potassium then you have to apply 25% more nitrogen that is 62.5 then 50 kg phosphorus so you have to add 25% more so suppose 100 kg then you have to apply 125 then 62.5 phosphorus then 62.5 potassium per hectare but in normal course 150 50 is sufficient for a per hectare then low infiltration rate i told that when you apply the irrigation water or rain water then that water will not go downward due to dispersion of the soil particle that is due to deep deep percolation then high evaporation led to secondary salinization you know that in arid region i told that in arid region rajasthan then kutch then some part of the madhya pradesh we will find the saline alkali soil so we will not find the more tree and vegetation so there will be more erosion due to wind erosion and you will find the sand dunes in jaisalmer in other parts of the rajasthan then sodic condition can be improved through the use of certain amendment i told that gypsum and sulfuric acid then crop grown on fertile soil may seen more salt on than those grown with adequate fertility application of farm yard manure mean cow dung or buffalo dung increase solubility of the applied gypsum and hasten the reclamation processes using green manure crop like saspenia reclaim the alkali soil karnal grass road grass have been found better for alkali soil and it is a soil tolerant crop so in karnal i get quite uh, talk about the karnal and dri up haryana so they can grow the tolerant grasses like karnal grass and road grass because they are soil resistant then alkali soil so we have seen nutrient management saline soil similarly here we have say the nutrient management in alkali soil so nitrogen application of ammonium sulfate is better than urea and calcium ammonium nitrate why ammonium sulfate is better because when you are add the ammonium sulfate in soil then it reduce this soil ph the soil ph of the alkali soil is greater than 8.5 so we have to reduce and you remember that when the soil ph is is between 6.5 to 7.5 is a ideal soil ph for availability of the maximum nutrient to the plant but when the ph is increased from 8.5 then the nutrient present in soil but it is not available to the plants therefore we have to add ammonium sulfate in alkali soil so 
the pH has been reduced and the more nutrients available to the plant and we are getting a better growth of the plant. Then phosphorus. At high pH ability, of phosphorus is more and hence no response to applied fertilizer in early phase of reclamation, but gradually phosphorus ability decreases. So if it is exception when you, then is, there is a more pH greater than 8.5, then phosphorus ability is more. So when we are apply the phosphatic fertilizer in a alkali soil or sodic soil, then we are not getting the response. But after some time when the growth, plant growth attain, then you are apply the, the phosphorus, then you are getting the response. Then potassium uptake decreased due to high sodium and deficiency of calcium in alkali soil. So you know that the, there will be competition of the nutrient in soil media. So I told that in alkali soil or sodic soil, the sodium clay is dominant. So what happened? It will not allow to the potassium and calcium for the uptake because sodium is greater. So when there is a sodium is greater, then it will not allow the potassium, then zinc, iron, and calcium. And therefore, you will observe the deficiency of the potassium, calcium, zinc, iron, boron, and so on in alkali soil. Then suspenia and bursin grow in sodic alkali soil. You know that you also can you can grow the Lucent crop also in grown in sodic soil. So the bursin crop is a forage crop and it will feed to the animals. Susbenia crop is also reclaim the soil. So you can grow successfully because both these crops are alkali resistant crops. Lucent crop is also grown because you know I told that Lucent is grown in Kutch area and the soil of the Kutch is saline alkali. So the Lucent crop is grown successfully. Then sodic soil. So puddling in lowland rice is it is carried out mainly to maintain the infiltration rate to show the water and to control the weeds. So why we are doing the puddling operation in a rice field, particularly in lowland rice, because we want what a rice crop want the standing water. So we make the soil hard with the puddler operation. Either now it is tractor down, puddler operation is there, cultivator is there, so you can control. And when there is a water present in the lowland area, then you will also not find the weeds. And rice crop requires the maximum water as compared to other crops. Then age of seedling, tolerance of the crop increase with age. So generally, I was previously service in 1974 to 1977 at main rice dissertation, Navagam, Talko District Amrabat. So we have recommended that uh, 21 to 30 days age of the seedling of the rice is better for higher crop production. But in a sodic soil, we have to grow this seedling of 35, 40 days old. Why? Because you know that when the seedling is young, then it is not tolerate to sodic soil. But when it ages, Progressive, then it tolerates the sodic condition or alkali condition. I will give another example to you that when the child is small, then it is very susceptible. But when it grows, then it creates the power of the resistance. So similarly here, it is true for the rice seedling. Then higher plant population and closure spacing is essential. So why higher plant population and closure spacing is essential? Because you know that when there is a more salt present in the sodic soil, then there will be mortality of the plant. And closure spacing means you have to grow the more 
plant of the rice or other crops so when the plant have mortality then there will be no gap filling and you are getting the higher crop production but suppose you grow the distance like a normal soil then there will be mortality i told that due to sodic soil then there will be gap filling and you are getting the low crop production then another thing you remember that growing the crop the side of the field so here you can see that here we have to grow the ridge side of the ridge so that here the soil concentration is low as compared to the furrow that is why we have to grow on the ridges of the crop then equivalent quantities of some common amendment for sodic soil reclamation amendments means it is a fertilizers so which reclaim the sodic soil so gypsum then calcium chloride sulfuric acid iron sulfate ammonium sulfate sulfur pyrite and so on. so among this iron sulfate and aluminum sulfate quantity more but gypsum is you know, generally used in agriculture because it is a cheaper and it is a by product of the gsfc gns fertilizer factory so they have the problem of the disposal so government of india has started to give very cheap rate to the farmers and government also gave the railway transport on subsidize to the farmer so they can use the gypsum for reclamation of the soil generally 2 to 3 tons gypsum is required but it depend upon the sodium present or salt present in a soil here you can see that it is a wheat crop so here gypsum is not applied on the left side and on the right side we have to apply the gypsum so you can see here the improved crop growth in a wheat crop on a sodic soil with gypsum applied at the rate of 5 ton hectare so it depends i told that it depends the gypsum application depend on the sodicity of the soil so here they have applied 5 ton and here they have not applied the gypsum although the soil is sodic soil so you can find the clear cut difference in right side figure 2 the growth of the wheat is better as compared to the figure we one left side then green manure crops to improve the saline soil or alkali soil we must have to add more organic matter in soil so we have added the farmyard manure then compost and poultry manure then we can also do the green manuring crops like dhencha why i select dhencha crop because it is a salt resistant crops you can't grow this sunset sunset sunhemp sorry sunhemp so sunhemp can be grown in normal soil but here you can select a sunhemp crop in problematic soil alkali soil or sodic soil it will not germinate properly so dhencha is salt resistant crop and here you can see the growth and in cotton they have made the green manure so here is a cotton crop and in between cotton that is inter crop they grow the dhencha then when it attains the height of 2 uh, feet 3 feet after 50 days then it will be incorporated in the soil with the plows or tractors then it converted into organic matter so the cotton crop is benefited and we have require lesser nitrogenous fertilizers so we can save the nitrogen then classification of saline water you know that when uh, water underground water is not pure everywhere why because you, you know that uh, near the sea so there will be intrusion of the sea water in a soil 100 km or 200 km that water has been intrusion pass underground water so it is will mix with the normal water and the water become saline and when you withdraw the water and apply to the 
plant agriculture crops then your soil become a saline and again you are not taking care then it converted to saline alkaline again you are not taking care then it is alkaline or sodic soil so the crop product of saline soil the 3000 kg suppose you take rice or wheat but when it is converted into saline alkali then it convert the yield is expected expected 2000 kg per hectare but when it convert into alkali soil or sodic soil then you are getting the crop productivity only 1000 kg or in extreme case you are only 500 kg or sometime you will not not germinate at the plant so here different classes are there non saline slightly saline then brine you know that sea water there will be salt concentration 35000 mg per liter so as the salt concentration is increasing the crop productivity has been declined and you know that there will be direct relation electric conductivity has also been increasing so in normal soil then there, there will be only 0.7% ac simon per meter salt then salt concentration less than 500 then slightly saline then it increasing in irrigation water i will give one example here you some farmers are believe that irrigation water is good but in irrigation water 500 to 1500 mg per liter salt and you take the winter crop and summer crop and in some time you, when there is a uh, erratic rainfall in monsoon season then you are also apply the irrigation water with canal water tube well water or well water or tank water so what happen suppose you are applying the irrigation to the wheat crop suppose seven irrigation in summer you grow the sorghum crop uh, or corn then you are giving again five ten irrigation so totally suppose you are giving 15 irrigation or 20 irrigation per year so after 10 year you are giving the 150 or 200 irrigation water so irrigation so what happen that salt accumulated on the soil surface so farmer told that why the crop productivity is decline as the year passing so the main reason is there the every year salt concentration has been increase on the soil soil surface and resulted the crop productivity has been declined so it is a classes low medium high so it is a classes of the water suppose you have this c4 and s4 water underground water then that water has not been used for agriculture because it contain high sodium content as well as high salinity content so quality of irrigation is very important so total dissolves solid less than 1000 mg per liter then total soluble salt so it is a different classes c1 c2 c4 then it is a depend on the basis of the sodium it is s1 s2 s3 4 so i told that s4 and c4 that water is not suitable means unsuitable for agriculture purpose then residual sodium carbonate is also important residual sodium carbonate means how much concentration of the carbonate and bicarbonate present as compared to the calcium and magnesium so the amount of the bicarbonate and carbonate is greater than calcium and magnesium then there will be problem so what is the problem so high concentration of bicarbonate and carbonate ion in irrigation water can induce precipitation of calcium and magnesium ion to form calcium and magnesium carbonate which have low solubility so what happen the calcium and magnesium present in there so that will be precipitation due to the more carbonate or more bicarbonate so calcium carbonate calcium bicarbonate magnesium carbonate magnesium bicarbonate so which have low solubility so when there will be low solubility then calcium and magnesium will not available to the plant although it is present in the soil so the precipitation of calcium and magnesium allow sodium ion to dominate so calcium and magnesium ion present in soil that will be precipitated in the soil so sodium ion is also more and it is dominant in the soil and thus increase the sodium hazard associated with the irrigation water so
so sodium is very very harmful to the plant you know that when the human being have the more sodium then there will be problem of the blood pressure and there will be uh, suspects of the attack similarly when the soil contain more sodium then the crop productivity is very very low so sodium present in soil as well as irrigation water it is very very harmful and therefore the crop productivity is very very low so irrigation management so frequency and timing frequent light irrigation increase soil concentration in top soil should be avoided so don't give frequent irrigation light irrigation frequently otherwise the soil concentration come on comes on a top soil or surface soil then high rainfall and heavy irrigation will remove salt from within a root zone you know that i told that in rajasthan there will be low rainfall so salt has been accumulated but the other parts like uh, himachal pradesh then uttar pradesh the rainfall is high so what happen there the basic material has been washed out and their soil become acidic so in high rainfall area there will be problem of the acidic soil where low rainfall area then there will be problem of saline and alkaline soil then watering during hot dry condition increase evaporation and it increase concentration of soil so suppose you are located in rajasthan you are apply the you grow the crops in summer season then you apply the irrigation then high rate of evaporation and there will be increase of the concentration of salt in the soil and your crop productivity is low dendritic irrigation you know that government of gujarat and india give the subsidy about 50 to 70% to the farmers so drip irrigation that is in gujarat it is called tapak paddhati drip irrigation can reduce the effect of salinity by maintaining continuously moist soil around plant root and providing steady leaking of soil to age of the wetted zone so what happened to the drip irrigation soil become wet continuously so there will be not increasing the salt concentration in a soil so plant growth is better sprinkler irrigated crops are predominantly subject to additional damage caused by salt uptake into the leaves and burn from spray contact with leaf suppose you are located in rajasthan then your soil your water is saline soil and you are spray or you are, you are using the sprinkler irrigation in a wheat crop other crops then there will be a salt damage to the leaves and sometimes burning of the leaves and your yield has been decreased so last one lies the a saline water evaporated from the soil it leaves behind the soil gold point under the crop help reduce surface evaporation maintain moisture near the soil surface and lessen the build up soil salinity so what happen here pop plastic mulch is there so what happen there it reduce the evaporation so whatever the moisture present below the plastic that remain is the evaporation rate decrease so the soil become wet so when the soil become wet then the concentration of the salt has been increasing so mulch has been advantageous so if plastic mulch is not available then you can crop residue use then straw crop straw has been used 